Well, the Derby sale obviously just concluded last night and um, it was hugely successful. We, were, we broke records right across the board. We had record turnover, record average, record median, and uh, same number of horses made 100,000 or more this year. But it's been a sensational sale. We're absolutely thrilled. I suppose there's an insatiable demand for national hunt horses um, in the UK and in Ireland. Um, the point-to-point -point sector, which is sort of the amateur, traditionally the amateur um, route from for young horses in Ireland to run over fences, that is incredibly strong. And um, the point-to-point -point sector have been buying horses in recent years, store horses mm. at the sales here as three-year-olds breaking these horses and running them at four. Um, if they win, it's a gateway to our sale at Cheltenham. Uh, we run the sales at Cheltenham and um, they've been really, really well rewarded. Um, we had Flemings Hill in February make £460,000, um, which was a world record for a, a four-year-old, a point-to-pointer. So um, it's very, very strong and um, it's a proven, it's a proven path from running at four and winning at four to competing at the very, very top level in, uh, in races in England and Ireland. So it's very, very strong. Let's talk about the French horses. What could we, what could we say about French horses of this year's sales, Derby sales? Well, again, uh, insatiable demand for, for French horses. Um, I mean, nearly 15, 16% of the catalogue were French breads. Um, I think it's, it's rising all the time. Mm. Um, and they sold particularly well. Nine of the 33 horses that sold for 100,000 or more were French bred. Um, a lot of them have followed the traditional Irish or English route in terms of being bought as foals or yearlings in France and um, stored, so prepared, been given time out in the land and then prepared for the sales. So. The Irish and English vendors want to buy these mm. horses um, and because they're getting very, very rewarded at the sales as well. And again, some of these horses are going on to run as point to pointers and then be sold again to um, someone at the very top mm. end, an English or Irish purchaser. But the, the demand for French horses is incredibly strong. This sale has been running since 1975, so it's 42 mm. years old. Um, yes, there was the last two days have been the best sale in, in the in the sales history, mm. and um, you're guaranteed to have all the best buyers in the UK, uh, in, from the UK, from Great Britain and Ireland, um, competing for the best stock in in the sales ring. So the catalogue is obviously well distributed, like any auction house. The catalogue is well distributed to all the buyers, and it's well marketed. Um, but it's established, this sale is established as being the, the sale for purchasers um, to buy high class horses. Um, we've had more stakes winners than any other sales company um, of its kind. Um, um, we get more four year old point to point winners than any other um, sale of its kind. And um, the facts are we get the winners every single year. And, uh, for French breeders or French pin hookers or people who are interested in selling, um, you know, once you've a good looking horse, um, buy a good strong sire um, that's, that's athletic and has a pedigree, you will be very well rewarded here. And on the other side, if I am a French uh, buyer, what can I find here? I saw many French uh, breeder uh, bidding on uh, well bred fillies. Yeah, I, I suppose um, what's happened over the years is um, I suppose there's a feeling that a lot of the Irish and English have uh, taken a lot of the better French pedigrees. They've bought some of the better French pedigrees. Uh, so there's probably a, um, a dearth of or a lack of these pedigrees now around in France. So I know some of the French have been trying to buy back some of these pedigrees. Um, We've had um, Hervé Bunel and uh, Mr. Papo come to our breeding stock sales over the last number of years, trying to buy some foals mm -hmm. as well. Um, and increasingly, there's more and more French bidding uh, for foals, particularly the better pedigrees. But they were bidding at the, this sale during the week as well to get some of these better pedigrees again, um, these French strong French pedigrees. Um, so, you know, 
whilst the traditional three-year-old story is, is somewhat foreign to French, the French, um, certainly there's some extremely strong pedigrees. I mean, we had um, that filly, that filly make 155,000, which has had an extremely mm. strong um, pedigree, the Scirocco filly. Uh, she made 155,000. Um, she's gone to England, but I know a lot of French breeders were extremely interested in her. But I suppose on one side, the French, you know, there's some very, very good pedigrees to buy into here. Um, and also, you, obviously, the other side, if you're a, a seller, there, you can be very, very well rewarded um, with a with a with French bred filly or, or 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 anything. You know, obviously, it doesn't have to be French bred, but they are doing very, very well in the ring here.